ideal gases, and kinetic theory. So we've got uh, the following goals for this session. First, we'll go over the ideal gas law. We'll talk about kinetic theory, which involves applying just basic principles of physics at the molecular level. First, let's talk about Avogadro's number, though. So, what's a mole? Well, a mole, the number, is very similar to a dozen in the sense that it stands for a certain number of things. So when you say if a dozen eggs, it means you have 12 eggs. If you said you had a mole of eggs, that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd eggs. That's a lot of eggs. And that number is also known as Avogadro's number. Okay, so here we have sort of a picture of an ideal gas. And it's a bunch of tiny little molecules moving around. One of them is a different color, so you can kind of see what it does. And they collide with the walls, and they collide with one another. But basically, there's a lot of random motion that happens. Okay, so we have a law that goes along with that uh, system. And so the ideal gas law satisfies the following conditions. It consists of a large number of identical molecules. This is a description of the ideal gas. So you need a whole bunch of identical molecules. And the volume occupied by the molecules themselves is really small compared to the volume of the container that they're in. The molecules move around in random motion and obey Newton's laws of motion. And they experience forces only when they hit something. All, all collisions are completely elastic, and we can neglect the amount of time those collisions take. Okay, so then we write this down, PV equals NRT. That's the ideal gas law. What do all those things stand for? So P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles of gas, T is the absolute temperature, and R is known as the universal gas constant. It has a value of 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin. Now you can also write that law, PV equals NRT, in terms of the number of molecules instead of the number of moles. Okay, so the number of molecules is the uh, number of moles you have times the number of molecules per mole, so that's N times Na. So if we divide, if we, sorry, multiply through by Na over Na, then we get the following form of the equation. We can write that as N, the number of molecules, that is number of moles times the number of molecules per mole, Avogadro's number, and then you can write that in, for, in the form of another constant. So in, instead of little n times big R times T, you get big N times little k times T. K is the Boltzmann constant, and it is the universal gas constant divided by Avogadro's number. So it's 1.38 times 10 to the minus 3 joules per Kelvin. OK, now what's kinetic theory? Well, it's the application of Newton's laws to ideal gases. So if you start with a single atom of ideal gas in a box, and you determine the pressure associated with that. Then you add a whole bunch more atoms. You average over all the atoms. What do you got? So you get the following results. So we'll talk about three different results. So first, pressure is associated with the collisions of gas particles with the walls. If you divide the total average force from all the particles by the wall area, you get the pressure. Now, increasing temperature increases pressure for two reasons. First, there's more collisions with the walls. The molecules are moving around faster, and so they get from one wall to the other more quickly. And they're moving faster, so the collisions involve a larger average force. What about for a fixed volume and temperature? Well, adding more particles increases pressure because there are more collisions. OK, result number two. What's the average velocity of the ideal gas particles? Well, of course, the average velocity is 0 because all the molecules go in one way, cancel out all the ones going the other way. Okay. So what really matters, in fact, is the root mean square speed. Okay, so it's not the average velocity that's important, it's the root mean square speed. So you square all the speeds, uh, take the average of those, then take the square root, that's how you do an RMS value. Here it is.
Okay, here's a really important result. Number three. Okay, the really fundamental result is what temperature is. And temperature is a direct measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles of ideal gas. Note that it's the average kinetic energy. So kinetic theory says PV is two-thirds of N times the average kinetic energy. Now compare that to the ideal gas law. PV equals this other thing. And so this tells us that the average translational kinetic energy of the molecules is this, 3 halves kT. Okay, so by measuring temperature, that's a macroscopic parameter, we can gain information about the average kinetic energy of the molecules. That's a microscopic measure of what the system is doing. Okay, and all this comes about by applying just basic ideas of just impulse, momentum, uh, F equals MA, to just tiny little mo molecules bouncing around inside a box. So, the ideal gas. Okay, so that's all for today.